my people my people thank you very much for turning to my channel my name is marindo thank you very much if your first time turning to my channel you cannot avoid not to be a part of us by subscribing and put on your notification button thank you very much my people um my name is marine dung and i live in austin georgia that's in the united states of america but i'm from cameroon precisely i'm a mom i'm a, I'm a wife my people i have um what they call scoliosis that's cough in your spine i just want to um this video was just to show um we are we just entered spring in the united states and the weather is beautiful so that's the balcony where we live so we are cleaning the balcony so that we can come out with the kids just like to sit outside and get the fresh air my people this was um, me and my mom were cleaning the balcony and i just want to show um that um despite my disability i can still walk around the house i just want to make this video to encourage somebody it took i don't know it took me a while for me to be able to make videos like this for me to be able to how can i say accept reality i was talking to a friend of mine a friend told me that ah every even when you do the normal video everybody still know that you have a disability why are you ashamed I just told him to her that she cannot understand because I come from a very long way. I will not even be able to even um I didn't want to accept that I have a disability. Anyway, I thank God that I finally come out from my shells and I know me starting YouTube will not just to come and show up myself, but I wanted to pass a message outside there for those that are discouraged. Those with physically challenged, society have this, are like, put you down. Only you, you know, you can love yourself. Nobody can love you like you. You are the best person to love yourself. My people, I'm telling you, you are the best person to love yourself. So, no one can love you better than you love yourself. If you love yourself and appreciate yourself, then... You're going to pull many people towards you. My people, if you're watching this video and you have been blessed by this video, let me know underneath this video. I know many people have been encouraged. You can share this video to every other person that um, have a challenge. They say that we cannot do this, we cannot do this because um, I just want to acknowledge that you have some people that they don't even have any, they, they are fine. But they are still unable to do many things for themselves they are unable to clean even their own environment they want people to do everything for them my people i just want to appreciate that um my mom has been the backbone as a child behind everything like told me to as i said before in my other video she told me to take care of myself not to depend on people to do things for me and that pushed me forward also being a wife and a mother i know it's not easy only god can help and how could i be able to do all those things by myself without putting god first i just want to thank god for giving me this privilege for giving me this platform i remember i was in, when i was in high school i went to a boarding school and i was so depressed because i was looking different from everybody you know i was putting on braids i have a curve in my spine i just i was just feeling hot in the midst of pretty girls the way everybody was looking then i went to the library i came across this book it's jody about a lady that she was paralyzed from down she went swimming and she hurt herself and i read this book that she later on got married and she lived a normal life and i was so encouraged my people, I took that book to the dormitory. I will sleep with that book. I will open it and say, God, one day I'm going to be like Judy. I'm going to get married. I'm going to have my children. I'm going to live in a pretty, pretty place. I'm going to all those things or just imagine them. My people, and finally it came to pass. 
finally came to pass jody gave me hope and now i'm giving hope for somebody that you have lose hope you know you cannot make it on your own you know you have given up you are looking at yourself and say i cannot do anything even you are not you are just i don't know you like waiting for life to come and creep and taking you you are asking god why god why me you're crying whatever situation you find yourself if you just have to be strong and pick up your story and just go and just take god that holy ghost i thank you for everything father god i bless you well i'm telling you whatever situation you might be you don't even have lucky i'm telling you but you have something you can maybe you have a hand you can be you don't have a hand but you have a mouth you can speak you can be maybe you have all those things you cannot talk but you have some other thing you can give to the world you can help somebody with you cannot just sit and be helpless some people because if you're sick in your mind my people that is the greatest sickness anybody can have if your mind is sick your mind can be sick when you allow so many negative stuff we walk by faith and not by sight do not allow your situation to put you down you are built wonderfully and fearfully made so all of us are made differently you are pretty your own way you see i cannot put on heels but i can put on low ballet real beautiful shoes is that not wonderful some people say they have leg but they don't have shoe some people have shoe but they don't have leg i even have a leg i can put it on so i appreciate god for everything i can even clean my own self some people are lying down in the hospital bed they cannot do anything i'm telling you i do not allow anybody to put it down you say i can do all things through christ who strengthens me i remember this verse this is one of my best verse jeremiah 32 27 i remember my first time when i went to a believing church i was just sitting down life was just like i was just say god why did you create me i was feeling like oh god let me even just go i have no use in this world my people when i enter that church and the man of god stood on that pulpit and give jeremiah 32 27 i am the god of all humans is there anything too impossible for me to do he told moses i am that i am that anything you want god to be for you he will be we walk by faith and not by sight those scriptures i keep memorizing them i keep seeing those scriptures in my life and i keep holding on those scriptures those scriptures are the one taking me forward my people i don't know what you're passing through i don't even know just begin to call upon his name because god is so faithful eh? this is my mother my mother is called abu lydia she's also cleaning my mother had me at the i'm the 12th child and when i was four months old i contact tuberculosis which they thought i was going to die but i, I did not die later on after that tuberculosis i'm telling you my mother which is mama lydia she's a pig she was a pizza farmer see she's happy cleaning behind because he feel like she's back in africa in her farm she's so happy she wants us thing to do those jobs they have faith in me people even ask her to throw me away because i was so sick then my mother stood her ground because she knows something good one day will come out from me she had a vision that I'm, i am not useless i am not um that child that will become a vegetable i will i'm going to be useful i'm going to be i have potential so my mother keep encouraging me at that tender age and thank god for everything thank god for my mother mama lydia akaya who um she was the she she was because my father is late the second wife of papa Ephraim akaya they live in monia that's in cameroon in the southwest province until mama traveled to come and visit us in the united states my people i'm telling you eh, god has been so faithful he has been so wonderful how can we even complain how can we can my mother did not really know god as i said before but she knew of god and she knew of the power of god so she held it so faithfully and also encouraged me because if i didn't have a, a family support at that tender age 
I'm not sure I could have made it, but there were many times I felt like quitting the tour. I remember this time I went to school, this was in primary school, um, and people are four. I used to fall many, many times because my limbs were weak. When I fell, I came out, I was crying. Even in the university, I remember one time I was so crying. I was crying, I was crying. I said, I don't want to go back to school. And out of, you know when you're crying on the... My people, if only um, one million people, for example, watch this video and just, let me say, 10 people benefit from it. That's a purpose. Let me say, 20 people watch this video, only 20 views. And 15 people benefit from it. It, they're always that it doesn't depend on how many people you pull but how many people you impact so i know i'm going to impact a lot of people and the purpose of life why were you born what 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 have, what are you to fulfill sometimes we just live life we are just living we don't know the purpose why we're born we don't know the purpose why we are on this earth are you just on this edge just because you want to come and put on pretty clothes, pretty shoe, pretty hair, just have pretty men, go to pretty places? Or were you here, you want to leave a, an impact that even after you have died, your generation after you, they will come after you and know that a person like you existed. Someone like you play a role in this world. And even after you have gone, people will still remind, remember of you because of the impact you laid on people's life, because of the impact you did, our purpose for life. I guess I just came to discover my purpose where I was born. I know I used to know, but I didn't have the, the push to do it because of sex. I was not that bold. I was not, um, I was working in a shadow because I didn't want to accept my, my real self. I didn't just want to come out to show how beautiful and I, not, not to hide in another person's cloth or just to hide behind the door, the closed door. And I want to thank God for everything that he's doing. And if you're watching this video, you didn't come to the, you didn't watch it by chance. You did not just, excuse me, you didn't just watch this video just because um you just saw it or it just happened. It means God has a purpose for you to click on this particular video and you're on this same spot. God have a, a purpose. While you're listening to me, you're not just listening, but you're benefiting something from me. My people, please share this video. People need to know that you have a purpose while you are born. Even if you're blind, you have a purpose while you are born. Even if you're, you cannot speak, you have a purpose while you are born. Even whatever you have, you have a purpose. Even your Miss Cameron or Miss the US, you have a purpose why God created you. you. That's why people are so empty. People don't know their value, especially young girls, because they don't know the purpose why they were born. Then you see people start desiring and looking for things in the wrong places. You start wondering, such a beautiful girl, what is she doing in such a place? Because we don't know our purpose why we were born. But if you know your purpose, why you were born, your life can never remain the same. So today, I just want to make you understand that all of us have our purpose, why we were born. We are fearfully and wonderfully made in different shapes, different sizes, different colors, different everything. God is the one who made us all by himself. My people, my name is Marindo. I'm from Ghana. Thank you very much for turning to my channel. We are behind the house, we're trying to clean with summer um, spring. It's a beautiful weather, so we decided to come and clean ourselves. So we've been doing some cleanup. So if you are interested of seeing me clean around my environment, keep watching. Today we're cleaning, my mother and I, we decided to clean, so we've been cleaning. We've been walking around the house, so enjoy. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.